Hey everyone, it's Kirk here again at Option Alpha. So I wanted to check in on the Pure EV experimental portfolio. So we've made about 168 closed trades. We'll also see exactly where some of these positions are currently because we do have a lot of open positions. So just want to review this in this video, give you guys an update on this and kind of give you my thoughts on where testing is going right now and possible things we might want to look at into the future. So uh, right now, again, just filtering for the bots right now, I'm just looking at the pure EV portfolio. This is just the, the sample uh, paper trading portfolio that we set up to forward test this using live market data, using criteria that's a little bit more um, conservative. We're conservative with slippage, allowing for more slippage during testing versus compared to a potentially live environment. Um, so today's currently good right now. So total P&L on the portfolio with current positions right now is up. Um, you'll notice that with the addition of all of the additional um, stocks that we included as well, and we color coded those, those are just currently orange versus the ETFs or the blue bot icons. You can see um, that it's a pretty it's a pretty good distribution. We'll kind of take a look at some of the results in the analyzer here in a second, but you can see that a lot of these, they don't all go the same direction. I will just say that, right? And we didn't you know, one thing is with this EV portfolios, we didn't say it had to be bullish, bearish, whatever. It's just take the best EV, highest alpha ranking positions. And so you can see just visually some of the P&L diagrams that we've gone through where some of them have gone, you know, pretty wild. Some have been underwater and come back up. Some started, you know, high and come back low. Um, it's been pretty interesting to see kind of how all this has shaked out. Uh, one notable one here, just because it happened today, but Apple announced earnings yesterday after the market closed. And so for the last couple of days, this particular one hasn't made a trade. This bot hasn't made a trade in Apple. And the reason it hasn't made a trade in Apple is because remember, inside of our trade ideas uh, for the position criteria, we wanted to make sure that the position expires before the next earnings announcement. So for the last couple of days, because we've been targeting these shorter duration trades um, with Apple earnings coming up, then it hasn't made a trade in Apple, which is great because I actually had made some winning trades in Apple. So that's good. Now we just wanted to start getting back into the rhythm now that earnings is going to be done. So so we would expect Apple to kind of come back um, into play here in a little bit now that earnings are done and that kind of fully bakes itself out of the probability equation. All right. So yeah, all the positions generally look okay. Things have been going through okay. So let's take a look um, at the analyzer and let's go over and look at existing uh, closed positions for the pure EV portfolio. Again, we're just filtering here by pure EV. So this kind of shows all closed positions, not just current positions that are open or active in some of the bots. So total right now on closed positions is about 1401. Um, again, some positions right now are positions. And if we go back to open positions, you can see some positions, the open positions that we have now are negative right now. So that would account for the fact that when you go to the bots page and you see the total PL, it accounts for both closed and um, open positions. But we don't know if those open positions are going to work out or not work out, so we can't assume either way. But just looking at kind of the analyzed stats for just purely closed positions, I think it's kind of interesting to see some of these stats and just kind of walk through them together. So um, the closed PL don't really care about, don't really care about necessarily return on risk at this point. What I'm looking at right now is just total position count. So we have gotten into a lot of positions, which is great. This is kind of the first mile marker for me personally when I'm doing testing like this is can I do testing and get lots and lots of data? Because the more data I have on positions, the more comfortable I'm going to feel putting some of these positions on. So if this, for example, had just five trades with a 70% win rate, I put no like emphasis into that. So now that we've got 168 positions, that's great. It's now increasing the trade count, which is great. Our win rate is above 70%, which was essentially the goal. Remember when we got into, if you go back to video one, you can see this uh, same thing in video three. But if we wanted to get into some of these positions, we wanted to do it with a high probability of success. So our win rate is increasing or is above that 70% that we were targeting. Notice that the entry probability that we're getting into is about 67%. We do have some early profit taking uh, exit options in here. So that might account for the fact that we're not letting the positions fully go to expiration. We are taking them off with really large exit option profit targets. Not sure if that's that full accounting in there, but that's probably what I would expect is mostly some of that. So we have a lot of positions that are good um, that are working out. Profit factor right now seems to be pretty good. We're making more money than the dollars we're putting in. If we put a dollar in, we should expect to get a dollar 41 out. So that's good. 
We have lots of wins, about 123 wins, and losses, about 45. This is the interesting part to me, just from a psychological standpoint. You don't feel those 100, those 45 losses. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't feel anything when trading, but the point for me of trading and doing auto trading is that I don't get my emotions wrapped up in that. If I had to physically close 45 losing trades, that would have taken a bigger toll on me emotionally than anything I'm doing right now. So the fact that I didn't have to physically close it and just my rules-based system closed it at expiration, whether won or lost, whatever, I think is interesting. I think that that number as that number continues to climb. That's an interesting number to look at. Not that we should ignore losses or ignore all the stats, but just that one in particular, just think about the impact of 45 trades. I, I don't know, like 45 losing trades in the last like couple of weeks, like that, that's a lot of losing trades to close. And maybe those came came in you know a series of losing trades as they obviously did, because you can see the PL of the diagram here. Like we had a pretty good drawdown at some point, you know, over the last couple of weeks. So the fact that that happened and we had that drawdown really just goes to show you that these things are very cyclical. We're still letting things kind of work itself out. Um, but at least right now, it seems like it's on the right path, at least right now. So we'll see what happens here. Um, I definitely want to get this number up significantly. So I'll just say this as we go through this. I look at this, I say 168, great. We're on the road to like, things should be starting to solidify into their expected outcomes. We should be getting enough data to get that you know, distribution the way that we want. But I would love to see this significantly higher. So until we take everything totally live, I'm going to make sure that this first and foremost is a really, really big number um, so that I feel a lot more confident with where things go from here. Um, days in trade, this is pretty interesting. So days to entry is about 2.6. Again, remember, we're targeting roughly five days just because we want to get a lot of occurrences. I think at some point we might start testing some longer duration stuff and then use tags to separate out the analysis and see does the longer duration, you know, do we enter things 20 days, 30 days to let those numbers play out maybe exit trades a little bit earlier. Um, but right now we're doing lots and lots of testing. So days in trade is about 2.3, which means that we're holding it pretty much to the end. So because we're doing short duration, we're holding it to the end. Clearly, it looks like the iron condors are winning out as far as strategy. We'll see how this plays out as we go. But iron condors are just literally crushing it. Put, short put spreads are doing really good. Short call spreads not doing so good. Uh, which is interesting because we have had a couple little sell-off days in the market recently. Uh, by symbol, Meta has been great. NVIDIA, Microsoft, Costco, Capital One, Apple, Crowdst uh, CrowdStrike, etc. What I noticed just from like glancing at this menu is that a lot of the symbols that have done well so far are mostly stocks. And then you go down here and you see that actually the things that are not doing so well are actually mostly ETFs. Now, I don't know what to think about this. Maybe these shift and ebb and flow and they come back the other direction. Maybe previously it was ETFs, maybe stocks didn't do as well, but I'm glad that we actually built out more bots to trade stocks and um, then trade ETFs because I think what we can start to do as we get more data too is start to really unpack this and start to see, okay, maybe there's particular settings or ways that we wanna trade ETFs that are different from stocks, but right now, as a whole, it looks like stocks are performing better with this EV strategy um, as opposed to the actual ETFs that we're trading in here as well. So um, all this is really interesting stuff. So I hope this helps out. Just as a quick update on kind of where things are. I'm still gonna let this portfolio kind of marinate a little bit, kind of bake in some more trades. We'll check back in with some other things we wanna do um, and some other things we wanna test. Like I said, I think I wanna test some longer duration stuff as well. So that might mean spinning up another paper trading account, starting to do some trading in there, um, and then we can kind of see how the trades perform across these different uh, types of trades and, and yeah, expected values that we get into. So anyways, hopefully this is really helpful. As always, if you have any comments or questions as we go through this process together and we kind of learn and test and eventually hopefully take this thing live if it works out, um, I would love to know them in the comments below. Until next time, happy trading.